If you've ever worked with an assembly that has hundreds or thousands of mates, components, or features, then you've probably experienced lag or long rebuild times when editing features or trying to move components. You may have even had SolidWorks freeze or crash trying to rebuild the assembly. SolidWorks 2017 has improved the overall performance when you work with assemblies, making it easier and faster to drag components, rebuild assembly features, and show hidden components. For example, if you have a center of mass feature and drag a component, in previous versions of SOLIDWORKS, it would update the center of mass automatically. And if you have a large assembly, it could take several minutes to rebuild. For the 2017 update, SOLIDWORKS doesn't automatically rebuild the center of mass feature. That means you can make all the necessary changes first, and once you're satisfied with the position of the components, click Rebuild, and the center of mass feature updates. You can also disable the display of hidden components to improve the overall assembly performance. By default, if you select a hidden component from the Feature Manager, you can see a preview of the hidden component appear in the graphics area. If you're working with large assemblies, this can cause performance issues, especially if you're previewing a complex subassembly. For 2017, you can disable the preview by going to the System Options, and under Feature Manager, clearing the Enable Preview of Hidden Components checkbox. Now when I select a hidden component from the Feature Manager, SOLIDWORKS doesn't display a preview. Even for a simple assembly like this, you can see that the assembly performance has improved. If you want to enable the previews again, simply right-click on a Feature Tree item and select Hide Show Tree Items to bring up the Feature Manager system options. Simply check the Enable Preview of Hidden Components checkbox again, and you can see the previews of the hidden components appear. There's one last thing I want to mention. Now when you want to add components to your assemblies, but you don't have any components open, when you open the Insert Components Property Manager, the Open dialog box is going to automatically open like you see here. Previously, you had to click Browse to open the dialog box.